The golden age of arcade video games was the period of rapid growth, technological development, and cultural influence of arcade video games from the late 1970s to the early 1980s. Welcome to Eric C Productions. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, please hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you get notified of my latest video that are posted during the week. Be sure to hit that like button and leave a suggestion or a comment. You might see that video in a future posting. This video was suggested by Diane Wright. Thank you for your suggestion. Bring it to Aladdin's Castle where the lucky birthday boy or girl gets an Aladdin's Castle t-shirt and $5 worth of tokens free. And each of the birthday guests gets $5 worth of tokens also, plus a certificate for two more tokens the next time they visit Aladdin's Castle. And with Flippers Flapper, Great Escape, and Electronic Corral making the same offer with locations all over Southern California, now the entire family can enjoy the thrill of all the latest video games. Aladdin's Castle, family video. Whether you were raised on the left coast, or you were raised on the East Coast, or maybe somewhere in between. You probably played at an arcade at some point when you were growing up. Do you remember the sounds of those clinking quarters, the bass from the sound effects, or how about that overall volume where you couldn't even hear yourself think? In the early 1970s, games like Pong, Space Race, and Tank jump-started a new phenomenon, the video game arcades. Of course, they weren't yet called video games, but soon arcades began to spring up across the United States and around the globe. Pinball machines have been around since the 1930s, or perhaps even longer than that. The Spirit of the 76 was the very first solid-state electronic pinball machine. Soon other solid state pinball machines followed and eventually microprocessors, circuit boards and digital scoreboards and sound effects became a standard in the industry. The golden age was a time of great technical and design creativity in arcade games. The era saw the rapid spread of video arcades across North America, Europe and Asia. The number of video game arcades in North America was doubled between 1980 and 1982, reaching a peak of over 10,000 video game arcades across the region. Beginning with Space Invaders, video arcade games also started to appear in supermarkets, restaurants, liquor stores, gas stations, and many other retail establishments looking for extra income. Video game arcades at the time became as common as convenience stores, while arcade games like Pac-Man and Space Invaders appeared in most locations across the United States, including even funeral homes. The sales of arcade video game machines increased significantly during this period from $50 million in 1978 to $900 million in 1981, with 500,000 arcade machines sold in the United States at prices ranging as high as $3,000 in 1982 alone. By 1982, there were 24,000 full arcades, 400,000 arcade street locations, and 1.5 million arcade machines active in North America. The market was very competitive. The average life of an arcade game was four to six months. Do you remember playing at any of these arcades? Many of the arcades could be found in your local mall, in a strip mall, or maybe at a miniature golf and arcade center. In 1980, the US arcade video game industry's revenue generated $2.8 billion. The total revenue for the U.S. arcade video game industry in 1981 was $7 billion, which was three times the amount spent on movie tickets in 1981. In 1982, the arcade video game industry's revenue in quarters was estimated at $8 billion, surpassing the annual gross revenue of both pop music and Hollywood films combined. Prior to the golden age, of video games, pinball machines were more popular than, than video games. The pinball industry reached a peak of 200,000 machine sales at $2.3 billion revenue in 1979 and had declined to 33,000 machines and $464 million by 1982. The popularity of video game arcades continued up until about 1996. Arcade video games had remained the largest sector of the golden 
global video game industry before arcades declined in the late 1990s, with the console market surpassing arcade video games for the first time around 1997. So what are your fondest memories of the arcades? Leave a comment below. These games were my personal favorite arcade games when I was growing up in the mid-1980s to early 90s. This is where I blew my hard-earned money. Luckily, I have all of these games now on my video game consoles. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Hey, if you just watched my video, thanks for watching. Hit that like button and please subscribe to Eric C Productions.